Ellen and I had a great time fishing from a canoe on one of his favorite bass lakes. But canoe fishing is not all fun and games. Even though you're not in a boat, there are still a lot of important safety features to keep in mind. Check it out. The one advantage of canoeing is that, yeah, you don't need a license, right? You don't need a large vessel, you don't need a motor, um, you don't need a trailer to haul it. So yeah, it becomes really accessible for a lot of people. Uh, the one thing about for safety though, there's legal things you need in your boat. Uh, so if a, a OPP officer stops you or a, or a park warden, you need a bailer, you need a throw line. By, by law, you have to have a life jacket or PFD in the boat. Um, you should wear it uh, as well because it makes more sense to wear it. According to Transport Canada, all canoes must always have a life preserver for everyone on board, a buoyant line, a bailer or a pump, and a sound device such as a whistle. The, the one thing about canoeing too is, uh, um, yeah, you, do, you don't need a license uh, like a motorboat, but now, just this year, a uh, boater exam program that does the licensing for uh, motorboats, they created a paddling uh, program, an exam you can take online. It's, it's free, uh, it, it's not mandatory, uh, but it is something uh, to help people out with safety. A lot of people think that since they're Canadian, they can canoe, right? And they go out there and they don't have the skill set. And you do need skill set and you do need logic about when, you know, the weather and the waves and stuff and how to deal with circumstances. For more information on canoe regulations, visit www.tc.gc.ca.